Hello beautiful people and welcome to mindset shift number four. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I shifted my idea of self-care. Self-care has kind of been like a little bit of a buzzword, you know, for the past couple, I'll say maybe years or so, there's this idea of self-care. Earlier this year I experienced burnout and let me just tell you guys, face masks and bubble baths did not cut it. <laughs> All this cutesy stuff that we see on social media as self-care, it did not cut it for me to get me out of that uh, jam that I was in that was burnout. So I really just started to think about what self-care meant for me. So currently my nine to five is that I work in the mental health and criminal justice space. So every single day, I'm seeing a lot of heavy things to include people who are dealing with substance abuse, people who are dealing with being abused, people who have severe and persistent mental illness, people who think a lot of de negative thoughts, people who are suicidal, people who are depressed, you know. I deal with a lot of heavy stuff on a daily basis, and so I really had to shift my mindset of self-care from one of face masks and bubble baths to giving the world the best version of myself. So one thing I noticed was that I was willing to do things for other people that I wasn't necessarily willing to do for myself regularly. For instance, if I knew that Bay was coming over, I would be more inclined to make a really, really nice dinner that I spent a good bit of time on so that he could eat well and so that he could be feeling good and so that I could impress him with my amazing cooking skills. <clears throat> But on a regular basis, I wasn't cooking my own self fancy meals and things like that. But why not? Why not cook my own self fancy meals? Why not cook a meal that's gonna impress me with my own cooking skills that is going to nourish my body and fill me up and make sure that I'm eating super healthy? And I was doing that on a smaller scale, but maybe not as big of a scale that I would do for other people. So it was things like that where I just started to make a mindset shift from just doing these special things for other people and just making sure that I'm giving and pouring into other people. And I started just trying to pour into myself and make sure that I am good. So now self-care for me looks like setting boundaries with people, letting people know what I am comfortable with and what I'm not comfortable with. That's in my relationships, that's at work, even with my boss. Yes, even with my boss, y'all. Surrounding myself with beautiful people who lift me up making myself those fancy dinners, respecting my own needs. If I know that I need something, making sure that I get it within myself and also in the company that I keep. Another huge one is being kind in my thoughts to myself. Sometimes we can be really, really hard on ourselves. We can be our biggest critics. It's important to notice when you're being hard on yourself and to catch it and to really feed yourself with positive thoughts. Be nice to yourself. Self-care for me also looks like taking days off and not feeling bad about it. We work and we have vacation days for a reason and we work to enjoy the fruits of our labor. That's money wise and that's time wise. So don't let your time just like stack up. Make sure you're taking those days off and don't feel guilty about it, especially those of you who are in the helping profession. So that's what self-care looks like for me. It's not just face masks and bubble baths. It's a little bit deeper than that, but it's really giving the world the best version of myself because I'm taking care of myself. Once I shifted to that, then I found that I was more energized. I found that people respected me more because they could see that I respected me. It was just really good all around, honestly. Let me know what you think about self-care in the comments. What is your idea? idea of self-care for yourself. I love getting new ideas from other people and I will see you guys tomorrow for our very last day, day five. I've really been enjoying this and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.